There we go, things I go through to get a shot. <laughs> So hello, welcome back to another video. Today I've got a monster ride of 140 kilometers. I'm going through the North Wessex Downs. I'm currently at Carnhill Locks, just outside of Devizes. I'm going to do four official climbs today. We've got Coombe Gibbet, which is number 25 on the list, and three other southwest climbs. I think we've got Hackpen Hill, Redhorn Hill, and Milton Hill. So it's not actually a very hilly ride. It's only somewhere between 1,200 and 1,500 meters, depending on what commute says. But it's going to be an exciting day on the bike. 100% new roads. The smile is already there. I'm shaking with excitement it's actually warm as well i've got my shorts on Devices, I headed along the A361 all the way to Avery, which is a pretty Wiltshire village which is recognised for its globally important Neolithic and Bronze Age monuments. Here you will find the world's largest stone circle, stone avenues and ancient tombs. After leaving Avery, I headed a short distance to Hackpen Hill, which is one of the official southwest climbs. Hackpen Hill was 2.8 kilometres long, with a summit height of 265 metres. Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? What a climb that was, stunning views, twists and turns. Oh, beautiful. And now I'm heading down that road there into the North Wessex Downs, which looks just beautiful rolling countryside. It is an area of natural beauty, so I'm expecting beautiful sights. I've just skirted the outskirts of Marlborough and I'm now on the West Wilts Cycleway or the West Wilts Common Cycleway. So as it's a common, I'm hoping it's going to be flat. I'm going to plan this route in August 2019, so I can't really remember it. But I had a quick check over to make sure there were some cafes on route. And uh, the first bit was a bit main road out of Devizes all the way to Avebury. And I couldn't really remember that bit. And I couldn't remember coming anywhere near Marlborough, but we're here. We're heading to Hungerford. So I'm here in Hungerford at Costa, refreshing up. I've done 52K, 436 meters of climbing, so I'm surprised how rapid you move when you're not going up ridiculous climbs. Feels like I've really, really shifted this morning. 52K in, really enjoyable route. That cycleway, that common cycleway, the West Walks one, very, very nice road to cycle on. I've now got the uh, Kennet and Avon cycle route next. On my way over to Wheat Pen and Coombe Gibbet, which I think was after about 80K, I think. But I've had a headwind most of the way, so hopefully got that tailwind all the way home. I'm 
Oh, it just keeps getting better and better. I think that's Coombe Gibbet up on the hill that I can see meandering up there. Uh, but just, just incredible. You, you've got to do this. I challenge you to do this, but bike in the back of the car, plot yourself a route somewhere new. It doesn't have to be far. I only drove an hour from home today. Make sure you've got a car park to park in, a cafe somewhere, and just go get exploring somewhere new. 100% new roads. It'll just put a smile on your face. You'll get that feeling that you're lost, but you're not lost. You're just exploring. But this is just incredible. I mean, I mean, <laughs> this climb looks savage this morning, look at it, to be honest. But this is number 25 on the official 100 list. This is Coombe Gibbet. Yeah, it just sort of meanders up there where that line of trees goes. You can just sort of see it there. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm going. Oh, just wow, what a climb that is. I had two official climbs today. Both of them have been absolutely awesome. I thoroughly recommend both of those. That was a little bit steep, but so, well, you just looked over your shoulder, saw those views, and my goodness, just put a smile on your face. But you can see that one coming as I come down through the valley. Uh, see it meandering up there. Well done, Simon Warren, good find. Come give it. Could I be any happier right now? Oh, this route. Man, this route is amazing. This is why I was so miserable two weeks ago, because this is the route I was gonna do, and it was just too cold. It's lovely and warm today. Sun's out. Oh, smile's out. Whew. New roads, exploring, just right up my alley. And this is one of my alleys. So I'm currently about 80k in. We've done about 800 meters of climbing. So we're over halfway. I'm a little bit scared because I think the furthest I've ridden this year is about 100k. And uh, this one's 140k, but I needed to step it up because next week's even scarier. I'm doing a 200 kilometer, three and a half thousand meters of climbing Audax to the Valley of the Rocks. I literally have no idea where I am right now. I could be anywhere. I'm just trusting in the element bolt. Just <laughs> That I'm going on the right line, it'll get me back to Carnhill Locks somehow. I mean, I came from that uh, ridge up there to get here, and I am going that way. But literally, 
such stunning countryside. The North Wessex Downs, if you haven't been here, I highly recommend coming. Right, so this is Milton Hill. Nobody said this was a gravel climb. A surface for the first part. <laughs> Left a little bit to be desired, but we're now on a bit of tarmac. I don't know how long this is, but it's an up and down. I've got to go up and then come back down. But it looks stunning over to my right. I hope some views at the top. Well, I had a nice surprise a minute ago. I just had my head down with a nice tailwind to finally look and see. I've done 120 kilometers, so I've only got 20 to go. Although I'm not thanking myself for putting in an official climb after 120 kilometers. And I'm not quite sure what that road surface was at the beginning. I thought it was a gravel track. Thankfully it's improved. Oh, now I've got 670 meters to go to the top. Oh. Let's put the camera away and grind out an effort. I think I've just about got enough left. Forget about signs and rules. Oh, the payment and the long, long roads. Yeah, and you're always in such a rush. Your life playing from the stereo. cyclist of the day goes to me. I'd like to uh, thank Trek for having a faultless performance all the way around. I'd like to thank my legs for not giving up on me. I'd like to thank my wife for those fantastic sandwiches that got me round. And I'd like to thank the weather for making it an awesome day out on a bike. You've got to come here and ride your bike. It's just awesome. I mean, there is actually a cycle path along these Carnhill locks. So even if you wanted to just go for a little flat ride along the locks, it's definitely worth doing. But what a day out. Four more official climbs, 140k-ish. Next week though, I have a brutal Ordax of 200 kilometers and three and a half thousand meters in the Valley of the Rocks. But we will be seeing a few of our familiar faces. 
back in the videos for the first time this year, I think. But anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We will see you, probably not with this smile on my face next week. <laughs> Day out. Oh baby, this time will be gone forever Never in a lifetime Will you see us back here again So come before it's too late Hurry now cause I can't wait Let's put on our anthem We'll be singing all night long